I'm Steve Connor with Colvin Engineering. We're the firm that designed the heating air conditioning system for the new SJ Quinney College of Law. Behind us is a thermal storage tank that is an integral part of how we're going to cool the building. So in a regular building or a typical building, we would run a machine called a chiller and that makes cold water and we circulate cold water through the building and cool the building that way. And that works great, but the problem is that a chiller uses 10 or 15 percent of the energy a building uses throughout the year. And our goal on this project was to drive the energy consumption as low as possible. We said, what are we going to do about this chiller? So that was sort of part one. Part two was in the early parts of the design, the university said to us, we've got this irrigation system running right by the building. And there's a deep well down by the stadium here. They pump from a thousand feet down in the ground and the water's pretty cool. And it runs all summer long and it runs right by the building. And we said, no, wait a minute. All summer long, we need air conditioning and we've got cool water that's running right by the building anyway. How can we put these two things together? And so that's what we did. So what we do is we take the irrigation water at night, we pull it off, we pump it and store it in this tank right here. And it's 400,000 gallons. It's almost as big as an Olympic sized swimming pool. And we store that tank full of cool water all night long. And then the next day when the irrigation system turns off and the sprinklers are off on campus, we pump water out of this tank and through our building. And that's how we cool the building. And we did a lot of computer simulations and a lot of analysis to make sure that this really was going to work. And it's going to work really well to the point that we don't even need to use any kind of air conditioning or any kind of energy uh, to cool the building throughout the year. So the challenge that we had is how do we make, get the function of a tall tank when we've only got a flat, horizontal, shallow tank to do? We've got a series of chambers and cold water flows from one chamber to the next chamber to the next chamber uh, when we're filling it with cold water at night. And then during the day, it reverses its flow. And through our computer analysis, we're able to design a tank that's really cutting edge and one of a kind in the world.